So we've been running our AI automation agency for a while now, and we have bumped into pretty much every single scenario that you can imagine with different types of clients. Now, in this video, I'm gonna keep it super raw and really strip things back down to the basics and just show you what's been working and what hasn't. And what I also want to go into detail with is the opportunity with your AI automation agency and how you can best prepare yourself to essentially be able to scale this business. I'm going to be doing some really dodgy sketches on a computer screen for you. So hopefully you can follow along. And if you like this type of format, let me know down below and we'll do more of them. And what I want to do is I want to assume that we have a Facebook ads agency. All right. So bear with me. Some of this stuff is going to look dodgy, but let's say we have that Facebook ads agency and we have five different clients. Okay. So most of the time a Facebook ads agency is going to really niche down so they can help a specific group of people a certain niche right but also some people won't do that so some people will just take on different projects you know in my position on youtube we get a lot of inbound through the work that we do with our ai automation agency and that means that we don't necessarily have the luxury of picking a certain niche to work with so what does that mean that means that one of their clients could be in real estate they could be mechanics Maybe they're restaurants, maybe they're hotels, or maybe they're even e-com stores. So there's some different niches here, but this Facebook ads agency now has to serve these five different industries. Where am I going with this? Well, let's say each one of these people are paying 1K per month. This ad agency now is making 5K every single month from these clients. Now, what services do they then deliver? Well, they deliver Facebook ads, obviously. Maybe they're offering content creation. So maybe they're offering to actually help build the ads, so ad creatives. Maybe they're helping even manage the socials as well. And if they were, I'm sure they're charging more than 1K per month. But this is the point that I wanna make. If that agency is doing that and they're working with these five different industries and they're charging 1K per month, the service delivery across all five of these business types doesn't vary that much it's not that difficult you know they're running facebook ads the same rules apply they can copy and paste that over to pretty much any industry within reason obviously they're not going to be able to run the same ads they're not going to be able to run the same ads targeting people in an e-com e industry as they would uh, a local restaurant for example but you know what i mean like the concept isn't that difficult they're just using a platform which in this case is facebook ads and helping these companies generate more cash through running paid media okay so in this case we're going to be looking at ai automation agencies right in your case most of you don't have a lot of inbound coming in but you are running a lot of outreach so let's say you have five clients each client is paying you 1k and that means you're making 5k every single month and you're working with the same niche as the facebook ads agency so real estate mechanics food hotels e-com if we now go down to the services that you provide for that 5k it's going to vary you're going to be creating bots for these specific niches. So you're gonna be setting up individually for each niche. Maybe you've got different automations running depending on the industry. Maybe you're running audits and you're that AI expert for these guys as well. So you're working with them every single month, providing them with ongoing support and knowledge. But the problem with this is this is now really hard to scale, okay? It's hard to get more clients doing this because if you're doing that for five different industries, you're trying to learn five different industries at the same time. And it's gonna get so, so hard because every single time you bring on a new client, you're now gonna have to do everything all over again. You're gonna have to create a new chatbot. You're gonna have to create new automations. You're gonna have to, and potentially step in and learn that industry over again as well. This is kind of a problem that we've been coming into over the last few months. So like I said, with this channel of me talking, you know, we're getting anywhere from, I would say three to five new calls of leads coming in every single day. Now this doesn't mean we get three to five new clients. I'd say some of these are a waste of time. Some are no-shows. So let's say we land two clients every single week for some form of paid support, whether that's AI chatbots, automations, could even be custom platforms, okay? This is great, but the problem is we have to learn every industry over every single time. And it becomes really challenging to provide consistent value to every single client because we may get someone who contacts us who's in an industry or a niche that we've never worked with and we don't know anything about. Now, from day one, I've always said that the more you know, the more money you're gonna be able to make and the better quality of service you're gonna be able to give your clients. So let's say we have three cups. Now you would have seen this so many times, but I'm just gonna sketch it out for you. Let's say this one is real estate. Let's say this one is mechanics and let's say this one is hotels, right? Now you've only got a certain amount of knowledge and a certain amount of time in the day to actually be able to focus on this stuff. 
If you are splitting your cup across all three of these, you're not gonna become an expert in any of them. But if you take all three of them cups and you focus on one niche or one industry, so let's say real estate, we go all in there, you become the go-to real estate AI guy. Now, in other videos, I've said that we don't really focus on niches because, well, you have to collect data. And that is still the case. I still stick by that and still believe that there is no point niching down unless you understand an industry already. If you are sitting here with this cup, but you have no idea about any of these industries that exist, then you don't need to worry about this formula. But if you do know something about mechanics or you do know something about hotels, then it's worth you going in and going all in on this industry. So what are we doing right now? Well, over the last several months, we've been building a lot of chatbots and we've kind of built up a big bank of resources of the types of clients that we a want to work with and the types of clients that we don't want to work with okay we also see the opportunities that are in front of us and we're focusing on one main word now and that is productizing okay there you go i hope i spelled that right with my dyslexic brain so what do i mean by productizing well let's say we've built this chat bot here for restaurants okay and it is working it's going super well we've got two clients paying us they're very very happy with our services and it is making them a lot of money and taking in a lot of bookings. Now, what would be stupid for us to do now is now try to go to a separate industry and try to do the same thing in that industry before we've actually mastered this one. So what we really wanna do is now focus, our sole focus on restaurants. Now, not only because we get to ensure that we get to focus 100% of our time into these companies, but it also means that we can take the chatbot that we built here. So let's call this one chatbot one. And we've got client one, two, and three. Well, guess what? If this is working for client one, that means that for client two and client three, it's also gonna work because it's the same industry. So this is the definition of productizing. Now, what are the perks and benefits of doing that? Well, number one, it's gonna save you time because now you don't need to go and create new automations and new chatbots every single time. It's also gonna ensure that one fix that you make inside of this chatbot that is serving five different clients, one fix is going to mean that every single client that you're working with is going to get an upgrade on their bot. So instead of you just fixing one bot for one industry, you're now fixing the bot that is serving all of these different clients within the same industry. So not only are you saving time, it actually allows you to deliver this for a much cheaper price to your client, which in turn means that you're gonna sign more clients. One of the biggest pain points for trying to sell these chatbots and trying to sell these automations is that there is a lot of opportunity for business owners to set this up for themselves. And people will ask it all the time inside of the network. And they're like, Liam, how do you do this when someone can literally go to a chatbot builder or make themselves and build it? You know, I'm not saying that this isn't gonna work and this model's gone, but people do understand that they can go to Zapier. Business owners do understand that they can use different chatbots. I'm speaking to these guys constantly and a lot of the time people are getting on calls with me and they're like, yeah, so we tried building it ourselves using the likes of VoiceFlow, using the likes of BotPress, but it just didn't work out that well and we'd rather just pay an expert. And that's the key here. Like we are the experts. And if you're not an expert yet, then you just need to keep learning and keep practicing until you become the expert. So if you are worried about, oh, well, people are gonna be able to do this themselves. What's the point of me doing it? You're an expert. That's the key thing. Just like Facebook ads, there are experts and there are people that have tried Facebook ads. But if you can pay an expert to do something, then you're gonna be better off. So going back to this, is this leaves us with a potential to have 20 different clients that are all using the same chatbot, right? This same bot that we've sold them. And instead of selling it to them for, I don't know, $1,000, we've now sold it to these guys at $400 every single month that they just use on repeat. It's super sticky, it's a cheap price, it makes them money, it collects them leads, whatever it does. But we now have that, let's say we have 20 times 400, it's gonna be 8K per month. So with this model, you kind of have a hybrid, right? You have an AI automation agency, but the chatbots you're building inside of this agency for different industries, you slowly start to turn into productized deliverables that you can then ship out, copy and paste, rinse and repeat. So that is where we are right now. We've worked with a lot of different industries over the last several months, and we're at the point now where we are starting to really pick niches that we can just copy and paste the same chatbot over to each client. And like I said, provide value across all three of these because it's a one sort of like master template that we're just shipping out to people.
Now, obviously, the key thing is you still do need to provide value. People still need to be happy with this service. But this is the smart way and stage two of your AI automation agency. So once you start getting clients coming through the door, that is then your opportunity to see, you know, if I'm now working with restaurants and this is working for client one, how can I make it work for client two, client three, offer it at a cheaper rate, and then just target these individual restaurants with specific marketing campaigns. So that's what we do. We have, you know, we have our outreach channels and we have our inbound channels, which is obviously the YouTube. And then we have email and then we have IG. So Instagram, we also have LinkedIn, right? Inside of these outreach channels, this drawing is trash. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, let's do this into an arrow, done. Inside of these channels, we now have a campaign that is for restaurants. We now have a campaign that is for mechanics. We now have a campaign that is for builders, whatever it is, because, well, we've worked with three of these, we've worked with four of these, and we've worked with six of these. So that means we are now experts and we have all the chatbots built for that niche that we can now take to the same niche over and over again and just charge cheaper rates. My point of this video is you don't need to change your niche. You don't need to shift things up. But just remember, if you are niching down right now and you do have clients in the pipeline that you're working with, now is the time to become an expert in that field. Try to serve as many people within that niche as possible. And then once you have the chatbots, once you have the automations taken out, I can almost guarantee you that client one, two and three, they're all gonna have the same pain points. That means that your solutions can fit into all three of these different clients. And that saves you the hassle of having to go through a whole discovery period, figuring out what's working with this business, figuring out what's not, because you then have a product that you can take them and say, hey, we've solved the problem for this restaurant and we solved the problem for this restaurant. And we can do the exact same thing with you in a matter of weeks because we already have everything built out and it's a fraction of the price as what you would normally pay if it was custom. Now, some of you may be thinking, well, if it's not custom, then I can't charge as much. Well, you can still offer that. You can have pricing tiers, right? So this is another thing that we're working with. We're trying to productize this in a way where we have kind of like a, a standard, a basic sort of an entry plan. And then we'll have a more pro plan, which is a little bit more money. And then if they really need us to go fully custom and they have the budget for that, we can do so. And the same rule still applies. We're still using the, the same formula that we use with, within that niche with them chatbots that we're building and them automations that we're building. So yeah, I hope you can follow along on this video. I hope it made some sense. I mean, to me it made sense, but maybe it doesn't at all. And if it didn't, let me know down below. But if you did wanna learn more about building your own AI automation agency, make sure you get access to the free agency resources. I'll link them down below. They're completely free. There's some masterclasses in there that you can watch. And there's also some templates and some guides that you can download. But yeah, this is what we're focusing on over the next few weeks. We've got some really good industries that we've been hammering and we're investing heavily into building these services up into not only services and custom solutions, but complete products. And it is kind of turning into an AIAA slash SaaS company. And the best thing about that is, well, if it starts working for the restaurant niche or the mechanic niche or whatever it is, and we start scaling that up, well, now we can run paid ads because we actually have a product that people can just come into, they can buy and they can start using. They're not paying 2K off of the back of a Facebook ad. They're paying $100, $200 per month to build a solution for their business. So that's something that we can start advertising. And ultimately, it's something that you can start packaging up and sell individually off. What happens a year down the line when you've been working with three specific industries and you have three sort of SaaS solutions that you've built out off of the back of working with these clients? Well, you now have free tangible businesses that you could potentially take an exit on. Now that is obviously looking super far ahead and you don't need to get that detailed, but this is where we are currently at. This is where we're focusing a lot of our time right now. We want to productize. We want to ensure that our team isn't constantly stressed out, trying to figure out what chatbot to build X client when we've already built it for someone else. It just doesn't make any sense. So that's what you need to do. Start productizing. If you like this video, smash a like on the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.